to keep the form and jump. Pretty. Slow seems like to have the door. What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Foot Down Racing and if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. It's good to have you with us. Right, we are going to jump straight into here to the next scenario in the Colin McRae add-on pack for Dirt Rally 2.0. 1995 Australia, finished third place or higher. What's the info here? In Australia in 1995, Colin missed out on victory by less than 20 seconds. Alright, you know what? I'm not accepting anything less than first place for this one. It's first place or I'm retrying it. Alright, I'll see you in the passenger seat. Alright everyone, buckle up those seatbelts and I'll talk you through this run in here in Australia. Let you know what was going through my mind. It's a real fast and flowing stage this one. I absolutely love it. Try to get a little scandy flick here into the first bend. Can't really floor it around this one. You have to just ease it and then put the foot down then after that. Slow it back down for this right hander and then back on the power. Try and take a straight line through these couple of S bends here as you can. You see me getting a little bit too close and hitting some of these bollards around some of these bends. But flat through here then and try and get as close to this fence as possible here. Hit this jump flat and we'll be back on the brakes shortly after we hit the ground here for this right tree. And we can take this next left tree here fairly flat to the mat. There's a fairly big dangerous jump coming up here. You gotta hit it right. You don't wanna land badly there on that one because it's into a bit of a dangerous bend. Flat through here now. I love this bit, it's so fast. It's a little bit bumpy and tricky as well. But I love that. You can feather the throttle around that bend there just to settle the car a little bit. Same here with this, a lot of bumps there. And then flat again. Two left coming up here, so you're going to be hard on the brakes. I take out a few bollards here, every one of them actually. You've got to be careful around this left hander here as well. You can go off the cliff there quite easy. And then here's another few bollards out of the way. Get rid of them. Flat through here now. Flat around that bend. Hit that jump at a bad angle there, but managed to save it there through that far right. Get ready to brake hard over that hump for this one left. He's off a bit for this tree left. And then I think I got my breaking point wrong for this. Yeah, just overcooked it a bit there. A bit of understeer, that's fine. Flat out then down this little section. And into a far left here. And a far right. All right, don't be overzealous going into this one. I got a bad out line through there as well. But Flat down this little place, love this. Bit of a jump there. That was lucky to be able to hold that. Cool little few turns here now and this, they're fast, just flat through there. Flat again. And then we'll ease off for this little tree left. And flat down the hill again. All right, there's a dodgy jump coming up here. You gotta hit it straight on, I didn't. and. I got very lucky there with the bounce. Managed to regain control for these uh, slow few bends here. Another few bollards meeting their maker there around them bends too. No harm. Messy bit of steering there. Could not get the car to just settle itself. I love these next two bends here. Probably not the fastest lines through them, but I love sliding them around. They're fast, but you can uh, really throw the car into them. Alright, you're going to have to be careful coming up over this uh, section, go over this left hand end here. This one you're going to have to get onto the brakes, dodgy little bend, it tightens a lot there. And then you can go flat again. Be careful around this one as well, the car is prone to understeer into that cliff edge if you're not careful. There's another fast, bumpy, awesome part of the stage. Try and go flat through all these. It's, it's hard. The car can get a little bit unsettled, but um, I managed to just keep her under control there. Dangerous uh, right one coming up here as well. 
Got to be hard on the brakes when you land there. Couple of tight bends coming up here now. You just got to be careful not to overdrive the car around any of these. Once we're out of this one here, I think we can floor it through the next few. We may need a little bit of a lift. You can get a bit of understeer on that bend there as well. And then flat down here. All right, if you get a nice enough line through here, you can keep the car flat. But um, the line I took wasn't perfect, so I had to give it a little bit of a feather. Got to be careful for this bit here, coming onto the tarmac, it can be skiddy. Uh, get her under control and then floor it out of it. And then ease off again for this uh, tree left. Pumpy and bumpy section here, but you should be able to go flat out here as well. This can be a tricky little left hand bend here. It's skiddy, so be careful around that one. And then floor it out again. You're back onto the tarmac section here for this hard left. Can be quite skiddy there as well, so just bear that in mind and take your time. You'll pick up a lot of speed down this section here into a dangerous far right, so I think I may have over braked here and it cost me a bit of time. The car felt quite slippery and uh, unsettled here in this section, so I think I was being overly cautious with the speed. Definitely could have carried more speed and got better lines through there. But a little tarmac section here again. I take a little glance here as I go through the little sector marker and notice that uh, I've lost a good bit of time there in that particular sector. I knew I had. I took some bad lines and I was overly cautious. So I was wary of that and wanted to make up a little bit of time here. Uh, it's a bumpy, we're onto the bumpiest section of the track here and it is, um, the car can get quite unsettled so you've got to be careful. If you feel you're starting to lose control over some of the bumps, ease off the throttle and just regain that control. Alright, I was flat out through this section here to try and regain some of that time that I had lost in the last sector. And I saw I was a good bit ahead of the class leader so I took that last bend nice and handy, just get around. Get her home safe and sound. That's not bad. I think a 6.34 might be enough for the win. Yeah, that time's going to leave us 12 seconds ahead of the next lad. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. And I shall see you guys in the next video.